Hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, Nerdicane. I'm doing a little driving video. Hands-free, of course, because this is Georgia and we got that new law. The new law is going really great. Um, you should hope that your state uh, adopts a hands-free driving law. But that's not what this video is about, although there is going to be some driving videos coming up soon, but it's driving in Forza Horizon 4. Um, what we're talking about today is the quietest revolution I think an industry has ever had. Uh, today, in this post that you see here, Diversity in Comics is beginning to ship iron sights. And Jawbreakers is probably just a few weeks away as well. Uh, so this is the quiet revolution, and it's the really cool thing because these Indiegogo, these Kickstarter comics, are starting to hit, sh not shelves, are starting to hit uh, mailboxes. And... This is a really exciting time. It's very quiet, though. Nobody's really covering it. Of course, you know, the big news articles aren't... The big news outlets aren't covering it right now. But, um, yeah, it's it's happening. They... You know, you all remember Dragon Dunk. You all remember Mark Wade. You all remember the shenanigans that they pulled to keep diversity in comics off the shelf. Well, they wouldn't let us play their game, so we changed the game, and now the game is different. And it looks like the game that all of these creators, all these indie creators are playing, uh, and hopefully I hope to play sometime next year, uh, it looks like that's where all the money is. It looks like we're the, not really the money. Well, that's where all the profit is. And that's the important thing, is your business can make a lot of money, but if you're not making any profit, it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, it's an exciting day. That's starting to go out. I have here uh, a lot of other projects are still going on IndieCron. If you haven't supported these, at least support one. I've, I've supported uh, Lady Alchemy. I've supported Jawbreakers, uh, Cyberfrog. Um, there's a couple. There's one that was by Will Callaghan, which I don't know what's going on with that. The um, He seems to have stopped the Indiegogo and deleted all of his social media. Something. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I had heard something about him going to Vox Day's Comicsgate uh, label with Gun Ghoul. If that's the case, uh, sorry, Will. Uh, I hope to get my book, but I don't think I can support you any further if you're going to be with uh, Vox Day. And that's, I'm making my stand on that. But in better news, look at all these other indies that are going on. We got Bigfoot Bill, which I'm excited. I, I, I hope I can still back Bigfoot Bill. Uh, I want to get my hands on that. That is by the creator of Earthworm Jim. If you are a Gen Xer, you know Earthworm Jim. That was a cartoon, and it was a video game, which was an awesome video game. Uh, you know what? Here's here's the cool thing about Earthworm Jim. It was the first video game that I can remember playing that had a sense of humor. Uh, and if you if you've ever played the game, you understand that it it, it just felt like. It felt like a comic book. It felt like a good comic book. Some action, some adventure, some just fun. But there are so many other indie books out there to to check out, and it's a really great time to to support indies. And speaking of indies, I've done a couple. I got a couple videos coming up for comic reviews. Um, as you know, if you follow my channel, I have put a boycott, an indefinite boycott, on Marvel, and I have a boycott until. January uh, until 2019 on DC. Uh, DC, you can thank uh, Robbie Rodriguez for that, his behavior and your unwillingness to have some sort of social media policy. Uh, you keep hiding behind the fact that they're they're freelancers. Well, if they're freelancers writing books with your label on it, you need to take a little more initiative and a little more control in that. Um, but yeah, the cool thing is though, I've started to explore indie comics and. I am having so much fun. Now, the good comics to the bad comics are probably 50-50, but I'm, I'm saying this to my viewers, don't be afraid to step away from what Marvel and DC have going on, because I have, and I'm picking up books that I would never really pick up before, they were just fodder on the, on the indie shelves, but I am having so much fun reading these indie books. Uh, whether they're good or whether they're cringy, I am really, really enjoying it. Uh, surprises are back. You know, so much of the problem, I think part of the thing that makes us so bored with Marvel is that surprises are gone. We know, we know Ta-Nehisi Coates' tricks. We know Mark Wade's tricks. We know 
uh, Jason Aaron. We know all these writers. We know what they do. They really don't. They really don't mix up their formula, and they really don't do a whole lot different than what made them, what put them in the position there. Uh, and that's part of the problem. Is now I'm reading uh, authors who I've never seen before, and I'm actually having a lot of fun. But that's my advice. Go check out. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, wow, there's a light out in Atlanta, and if a light goes out at a major turn signal, turn section or uh, intersection, holy cow, it is chaos. But um, go out there, support some of these books. It's a cool day. It's it's really an under the radar day, and I wish DNC all the, all the luck and all the support I can. Uh, if I live near you, dude, I would be bringing over a case of beer and I would be helping you pack those things, uh, get those things out. Everybody working on one of these projects. Get your stuff out. Let's uh, let's change the game. Let's continue to change the game. And to the people out there who are just buying comics, go try something new. Go go reach onto one of those indie shelves. Not the weird shelf with the porn books. Uh, but yeah, go to go to one of those indie shelves and and pick something up new. And you might be pleasantly surprised as I have. But that's all I got for this. I am Nerdicane. I'm having a good day. And I'm going to put out some vids soon. So thank you all for watching. Hit a like. Hit a subscribe. Um, definitely hit a subscribe. I'm trying to get some more subscribers. I'm trying to get back. We're on the march to 1,000 so I can get monetized. I am just 700. No. Yeah. I'm just 815 away. So I'm almost there. But you guys have a good day. Go out and enjoy comics. It's new comic book day. Thanks for watching. Bye.